Okay, this is Templo S, 5-Minute Random Code Walkthrough, Episode 38, and I'm your host, Terry Davis. Okay, let's see where God takes us. Alt B. And we are in the weblog example. Well, we already did this once. Uh, I guess I can talk a little more in depth. So, uh, what this does is, uh, if you go to the demo directory weblog weblog example, there are some. Here's some plain edit these with plain text. Plain text. These are some log files, some internet log files. And what I do is I I figure out. Uh, In, in these logs, each entry has a, that's the IP number of the person visiting my site. Here's the date and time. Here's the file they got from my site. And uh, here's, um, somewhere here is uh, the where they came from. If they clicked on a link, then this tells where they came from. So I can see where they came from when they visited my site. Now when I run this, I have to enter the... Okay, so here's what the report looks like. It has uh, hits by hour on... This is hits on my index file, only my index file. And here's um, where, where they came from to visit my index file. You can see I on this day I had a lot from Symantec um, and uh, then here's uh, here's hit some here's my downloads this was a day when I had uh, a lot of downloads 59 anyway uh, and this is where where I where it came from for the downloads okay so um, first of all I block my own address be, um, what that what I do is uh, um, block IP nums. Okay, so we we uh, we parse the uh, we put each entry from the log file into a uh, log structure. This this has a next and last for it's a queue. It has a tree for. Uh, IP num tree. We want to uh, make. We want you a count of how many um, entries for each IP num. Wait, what is this IP num? I'm confused by this. Anyway, it should be. Uh, we don't. Go by IP num, do we? IP num blocked IP num IP num locked IP num is IP num. When we make our trees, IP num tree. Okay, I guess I do have an IP num tree. What what do I have an IP num tree for? Demo. We have uh, okay. Download report IP no. Oh, that's oh, okay. Now I remember. I was confused. Okay, that's for duplicates. Um, in order to tell if somebody downloaded twice, um, I report how many duplicate downloads. That's for how many. If that's for people that downloaded twice. So 
I, I couldn't remember what that was for. So, um, so where were we? We were okay. So we make a. Uh, we have to block my own IP number. We also block any anything that uh, anything that has robot in it. <clears throat> if the word robot occurs, we block it, and that means we block all other accesses because uh, the way this works is uh, the first one is robot, and then the rest of them are uh, are. Uh, If we edit plain text, let's look for. You see, there's a robot text. If if they're looking for robot, that means that we block all all occurrences of this IP num, um, all subsequent occurrences. If it says robot, then we block it all. Okay, and uh, so so this uh, generates a. Uh, this removes the uh, first. We make a, a queue of uh, a doubly linked queue of all the numbers of all, of all the log entries, and then we uh, we delete uh, we delete my entries here, and we delete robot entries here. Oh, this adds this add the robot adds. We add robot to the list of blocked. And then we do all the ones that are blocked. Okay, so we add, so we block my own personal address, and we block all the occurrences of robot, and then we filter them out right here. Okay, so we remove from Q, then delete. So I think I just do a, a linear. I don't make a tree for blocked address. I just make a linear entry, a linear circular queue, and when I search, I just go in a circle. That's because there's not that many robot files, not that many robot numbers, and not that many numbers. We're looking at about maximum of seven, maybe. So it's okay just to, uh, when we do is blocked, we just search uh, a linear linearly without a, tr without a tree. So that's how that works. Okay.